In natural reproduction, ejaculation sends millions of sperm into the vagina in a race to reach the egg. Once one sperm manages to reach the egg, it loses its tail and fuses with the egg nucleus. This natural process is now becoming more and more difficult as women delay getting pregnant until later in life. Career women who have delayed uh, having a family because of um, the extra interest they have um, in <clears throat> running the business or working in a particular, particular field. And it's not just that the women are purposefully delaying to get pregnant. Some women are just not able to for various reasons. Those who do not have uh, the full complement of the reproductive organs, in other words, they have been born with something less. Then there is a group of women who have entered reproductive life too early and have suffered miscarriages or have undergone abortions that caused long-lasting damage to the tubes. While Jasper Chironde is proud of the outcome of the IVF treatments his wife had to undergo, he is not comfortable having his face shown. He and his wife have a baby now, a result of the treatment. Theirs was a long journey. Back in around 2000, because uh, the procedure to have a baby through the normal procedure had proved futile. We had four IVF um, procedures taken on us, and also there were two uh, embryo transfer arrangements which were administered on my wife, but all those did help us. A friend recommended the Paragon Fertility Clinic and they gave it one more shot. They received some good news two weeks into the treatment. The results showed that she was positive, I mean, she was pregnant. IVF involves fertilizing an egg with a sperm outside the uterus in a laboratory. Once it is fertilized, the egg becomes a pre-embryo and it is placed in the uterus to continue developing. Couples need to be psychologically prepared for these treatments. From having a tentative, are this the right place, the right place for me to treat? Is this the doctor I want to see? To moving them towards a partnership, a friendly relationship with the healthcare providers. It may be that the woman is not producing eggs or that her eggs are not fit for use. In this case, eggs of an anonymous donor can be used. Usually, when a couple does not have children, fingers are quickly pointed at the woman. We find that there are a lot more men, in fact, who are unable to produce sufficient sperm for natural conception. But with the assisted reproductive technology, they can now be uh, 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 converted from infertile to fertile. My wife was scanned and they realized she had um, minor fibroids. She was advised to have an operation. When I went for lab tests, it was realized that uh, it's like uh, I was an, as a spermia, which means like there were, there were no sperms which could help a lady become pregnant. You might have heard that fertility treatments are very expensive. In Uganda, the cost is between 10 to 14 million shillings. Why? The drugs are pretty costly and they have to be imported, the drugs plus the equipment that is used. The drugs also have a very short shelf life and the doctors cannot afford to overstock. Jasper and his wife had to fork out huge sums and since they got the treatments four times, they had to make fresh payments on all occasions, which got them into debt. And at first, I, I gave out the 7.5 excitedly, knowing that it was one try and then you know things would work out. But we were disappointed when we had that things had not worked out. So we had to think of other ways how to, you know, to, to get more funds. And remember, these were loans that we were really getting from the bank. So it was really painful. The hospital receives about 40 women looking into these treatments each month. But those who actually undergo treatment are about 10 to 15. The younger a woman is, the higher her chances. Age aside, the doctors give it their all. For that two weeks when we are offering treatment, everybody is here 24 hours. All other considerations is out. So 
there is a strictness in terms of regime for valid reason because you miss catching the egg at that right particular time. The old 14 million is gone. They say society has claims on us all, that some people frown upon these treatments is true. Despite the fact that it is expected of every woman to have a child, some religions do not allow their followers to even consider them. The Sunni Muslim, for instance, uh, do not accept anything involving gamut, gamut donation or even donation of uh, embryo. It interprets it that because it involves a third party, it means adultery. The Catholic religion looks at nature, that all things must be conceived around nature. Whichever way it is looked at, IVF treatments have become an option for the men and women who can afford it to have a baby that they had thought they would never have. Josephine Karunji, NTV.